All right, well, this is a dream for a lot of mixed martial arts fans. And yourself, Daniel, a guy who at one point could have fought Fedor Emelianenko, he and Dana White on the same page. We got Fedor in the octagon. Today. I'm glad it did happen because uh -huh. let me tell you something about Fedor. He's unknown. He's an enigma. We all want to know what is Fedor Emelianenko? What does he look like in the UFC? We finally get to find out. We know that he has a crazy high-level skill set, but we never knew how it would fare against the absolute best in the world. Tonight we find out, if I had to guess, I would think he would be just okay. And you got the sense with Fedor that he wasn't gonna wholly enjoy retirement if he did not check this box. Fedor Emelianenko at long last on the greatest proving ground in the sport. Fedor Emelianenko. As usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, so here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. You guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has graced the octagon yet again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Avon! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Ball! Oh! Herb Dean, our referee Great for this fight. one. Ready. All right, two of the greatest of all time in mixed martial arts. Fedor Emelianenko taking on John Jones. Fascinating stylistic matchup when you have two players who are as well-rounded as these two individuals. Both of these guys are tremendously well-rounded, but it'll be the long-range weapons of Jones that will give him, give him an opportunity to beat Fedor. Very rarely will you see Jones come into a fight as an underdog. Emilia Nico's resume proves that no one should sit above him. This is a massive fight in the heavyweight division. Man, should we just go? Ha. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' calling card. Back and forth we go. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take it down, you have to disguise it. He did not. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. This guy is so 
aware he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Just over two minutes to go. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you gotta be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, Jones gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, another blistering combination there. He's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Big right hook there by the champ. He's got to start going down. Jones gets back up here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so that round is in the books. Jones has got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's change it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, nice for the right hook there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Just misses there with the left. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Emelianenko's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Lands a solid kick right there. Big double leg, leg of the team. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Johnny Bus. All right, so he's setting up for submission here. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. his mouth. Now he's got good body position, yo. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All right, so Billy Nick goes, oh! Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. I mean, you gotta shove that knee, John. Mm, that was nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. 
what does he do to try to add pimp? Emelianenko's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. Great job finding his oh. shots in the oh. top position. All right, that's the end of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Nicely done with the kick there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, nice jab by Jones. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictating the pace to the opponent. The takedown is not there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Jones's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. To the body in it lands. in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, staying busy fighting off of his back and he lands. Jones is in half guard. Kick him off. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Under a minute now to go. Oh, nice. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect. Beautiful straight punch there by Emelianenko. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that round is in the books. Jones has got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready? You ready? Go All right, ahead. here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a... He got to hurt bad here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like I played video games as a seven-year-old. And I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mash to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents don't walk in the room and watch you guys be that fatigued. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, that killing is tight. Right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sun. Beautiful ground and pound. With that, we cut him. Good fight here, under two to go. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's, he's got his head, looking for the arm triangle. Oh, tense moment here, that arm triangle's tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. All these actions, though, these big actions gotta wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. He's been a beautiful to be a grappling offensively, but also defensively. That was a slick transition. Right into side control. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, oh. oh and there's the Good horn stop. at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Jones going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. is what they call it, to go and end the fight. Wilford with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, yeah. Now he's back up. Well, hard 
to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Emelianenko. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter in this fight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 90 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, right into Mount. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Side control. Jones is back inside control here. Under a minute now to go in the fight. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Jones has got the full mount. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fight goes the championship distance, and you may want to get the black and gold colors out. We're getting a new champion tonight. He turned in a beautiful striking display tonight. This is one of the best performances that we have seen from a challenger in a really long time. He relied on the striking. He understood that that's where he had the advantage. He used all of his advantages, and I feel like we will hear and new very shortly. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Hazel! All right, so how about it, there is a...